Hi everybody, I'm Anna and now we, our topic is Omega-3. It is a very important topic, I think you heard a lot about it, but now I have really somebody who really, uh, has got profound knowledge in it and I'm very happy that Dr. Volker Schmiede could join me for this interview. Hello Anna. Hi. So, what is actually Omega-3? In our nutrition, we have fats and we have different kinds of fatty acids. So we have the saturated fatty acids, the unsaturated fatty acids, the omega-3 fatty acids or omega-9 or omega-6 fatty acid. Uh, I think I could talk two hours only about the, stru the structure of the fatty acids. But your question was, what are the omega-3 fatty acids? Um, we have in the long change of the fatty acids um, some double bindings and if the first double binding is at the third position of the of the chain we call it omega-3 fatty acid um, for example if we compare the um, epa which is the most important anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acid with the aperidonic acid, which is the most pro-inflammatory fatty acid from, from animals, we, we see the chain and the, and the carbon atoms are absolutely uh, identical, except one double binding. The first double binding is on the third position in EPA and uh, on the sixth position in AA. That's the only difference. So, uh, very small chemical difference, but it makes a very severe biological difference, for example, concerning the inflammation. So, why is it actually important to take it? Omega-3 fatty acids have different functions. For example, they are built in the membrane of the erythrocytes, the red uh, blood cells. And in order to keep them flexible. If you have a lot of omega-3 fatty acids in them, um, the, the flow of the blood through the micro vessels is much better. Another thing is the membrane of the nerve cells. They need a lot of DHA, which is together with EPA, uh, one of the uh, very important omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, it's very astonishing that um, our fat in the nervous system has along 25% only the DHA. And in our food we have only 1 or 2% of DHA. So the nature or our body wants to concentrate DHA in our nervous system and, and nature always think about what nature is doing so it must have a sense to have such a high concentration of the DHA in the uh, nervous system. These are structural functions. Um, we have omega-3 fatty acids as a precursor from hormones. Many hormones are built of EPA and DHA. For example, prostaglandins type 3, and they are lowering the too high blood pressure. They are uh, regulating our uh, system uh, of clot clotting of the blood. And they are very important for our immune system. Um, for example, we have one hormone called resolvin, which I find a very, a very interesting name. Resolvin. Uh, so, if we have an infection, we need to have good inflammation in order to fight against the viruses or the bacteria. But after that, we have to slow down our immune system again. So we have to solve the inflammation. And if we don't do it, then the, uh, 
explanation keeps on and on, and that's what we saw in, uh, in COVID. Uh, the people didn't die because of the viruses. They died, they died of the high inflammation of their own immune system. So we have to resolve it. We have to slow it down. And that, that is what the resolvines from DHA and from EPA are doing. So, omega-3 fatty acids support a too weak immune system, but they also regulate a too high immune system. After inflammation, after infection, or in order to regulate autoimmunopathies like Hashimoto or multiple sclerosis or rheumatic diseases. They are so important in all that functions. So which dosage is advisable and why? Let's look at, um, I think, a normal adult with a weight of 50, 70 to 75 kilograms and um, with an average nutrition like three or four times meat a week and uh, once fish a week. So such a guy needs about 2 gram EPA DHA. They are always both belong together. But what is 2 gram? Um, if you look at the, the normal fish oil capsules with half a milliliter of fish oil, you need 15 capsules. 15. Nobody will swallow them each day. But the alternative is of course fish. You can eat, um, uh, for example, 100 gram of mackerel, but each day, um, or 200 gram of salmon, but also each day. And uh, I wouldn't recommend this just because of the, of the poison, uh, of the, the heavy metals and the pesticides in the fishes. I, I think once a week fish is okay, but not, not much more. And the alternative, which I prefer, is to take one spoonful of fish oil. One spoonful of fish oil contains these two grams, and for most of them it's the right dosage. We have an alternative to the fish oil, because many people don't like the fish oil, would be because of a potential poison or because of ethical reasons, and the alternative is elk oil. Some years ago we had elk oil on the market and uh, the advantage is you, you need only one small spoonful, a teaspoonful. Um, it's more concentrated than EPA and DHA, though you need half of the dosage. So that's for a normal adult. Optimal would be if you have the measurement of the levels. Uh, when someone is coming with a severe disease to me, I want to have these optimal levels. And then um, we have a fatty acid analysis. And we can measure 26 different fatty acids. Okay, most of them are not so important. Uh, but I'm looking at EPA, DHA, the most common maritime fatty acids. I'm looking at the aridonic acid from the animals. I'm looking at linolic acid from sunflower oil uh, or corn oil. Um, but most important are two scores. One score is the index, the sum of EPA, DHA, 8 to 11 percent is optimal. And especially for inflammations or against inflammations, the ratio of AA and EPA. AA, pro-inflammatory, EPA, anti-inflammatory. The normal ratio is 10. If someone eats three or four times meat and once fish, he has about 10. The optimal ratio against inflammation is about 2.5. So you really need a lot of them, but this one spoonful, big spoonful from fish oil or small spoonful from olive oil will in most cases be enough to get these optimal levels. So everybody is talking about toxic metals, uh, which for example are, are in fish. So if we take fish oil, 
um, is it an issue with the toxic metals or is it, is it okay? If you want to avoid poison, you have to be sure that you have a uh, fish oil with a really high quality. Um, well, uh, I, I can talk for all of the fish oils on the market. Um, uh, once I asked about 10 different uh, supplier fish oil uh, to give me analysis of their heavy metal content of the fish oil and only two of them answered to me. And they were practically free of pesticides and heavy metals. If you have a really good product, and the, the product I recommend has three steps of distillation and there is really nothing else in the oil except the fatty acids. Even vitamin D is not in the oil. Uh, I mean natural fish oil has vitamin D but in that kind of fish oil you even find no vitamin D because everything is outside um, and of course also the, the poison. Um, so you may ask um, the omega-3 fatty acid producer uh, if, you, if he gives you an analysis or you, you take uh, a product which, is, which you know is really good. So which omega-3 supplement can you recommend and why? There are different good omega-3 fatty acid products on the market. I recommend um, Norsan fish oil to most of my patients and, and to my children and uh, I take it by my own uh, because it has a really good taste, it doesn't taste nearly at all uh, of the fish. That's another quality sign. If you have a fish oil or you're biting on the fish oil capsule and it tastes very, very fishy, so you know it's, it, 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 it has to have too much contact with oxygen and, and is spoiled. Yeah, a good quality you even can taste, and I recommend Norsan. Norsan has the fish oil, and Norsan ha also has alg oil production. And they also have special products for children. For example, jellies, which are really tasting good, or special kids oil drops, yeah, so that they have a, a, a good cocktail of different, of different products. And they have a good quality, Ratio. So thank you so much Volker for this informative interview and I hope you liked it. See you.